In this episode of The Cole Memo, I wanted to share a clip that kind of pokes a hole in the idea that Illinois has some of the most stringent testing uh, requirements in the nation. Let's take a look at the clip. Before I play the clip, I wanted to let you know that in episode 59, the person featured in this clip joined me to provide further context. So if you'd like to hear more with regard to what you're about to hear, tune into episode 59. You can find that by seeing the link that is in the description for this episode of the podcast. It'll be in the show notes. Or you can go to thecolememo.com and you can use the search functionality in the top right-hand corner to look up episode number 59 with Dr. Bob Miller. Now, enjoy this clip featuring testimony provided by Dr. Bob Miller. For its overall success. I want to talk about one aspect. I, I apologize. I hopefully it won't be too in-depth in chemistry, but a situation right now we're living in Illinois. In Illinois today, we have a pesticide test that we cannot do. The test requires us to test for 350 different pesticides. If we were to even get the materials of known purity, it would cost us hundreds of thousands of dollars even to be able to do that. But what it makes it worse is it says the specification should be the tightest specification of any product that would have that pesticide. So, for example, we're having arguments right now, having a pesticide, and we're using a specification of what's in sheep. Because the way the regulation is written, you have to test for 350, and the criteria you have to use is the tightest of all specs for all types of foodstuffs. So the absurdity of that situation is just paramount. What's it driving? Noncompliance. No, since none of us can actually do the test, every laboratory is doing something different. Many of them are not even doing the test. So with the intention of creating the most stringent criteria actually caused the opposite. It actually is causing noncompliance. So really important about regulations. The second one I'd argue relates to the infused. So what do you think about this? I certainly have never heard about this before, and I would be interested to hear what you think about this. Before I go, I just wanted to quickly plug that I recently made an appearance on the Future Cannabis Project. I will link my appearance in the in the episode description for this podcast, so check it out. Just uh, refer to the episode description. There will be a link, and that will show you the complete show notes where you can either view the video version of this podcast or see that uh, link that I just referenced. Check out the show. It was a great conversation. Uh, I look forward to the next time I go on that show and maybe we'll have them on our show. Please, folks, let me know what you think about the subject matter covered in this very short episode of The Cold Memo. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.